record books. They are a very important part of the 4-H process. And today on 4-H Explained, I'm going to show, tell you how to do a 4-H record book for the Mayor Design District. So let's get started. Hello, I'm Carla Hightower, Mayor Design District 4-H agent. And today we're talking about record books on 4-H Explained. So what is a record book and how do you go about completing it? That's what this video is going to tell you. So we'll start with our record books are all due on October 1st. And that is of every year, so it doesn't matter which year, but you really should be working on those throughout the year. So what is a record book? Well, a record book actually is a way to get project pins. Um, so there's recognition of your project. And in the Mayor Design District, a 4-H record book is consists of the Mayor Design District Project Recognition Check Sheet, the Personal Information Page, and a Kansas 4-H Project Report for one of your 4-H projects. All of these can be found on the Mayor Design website and under 4-H and then record books. And you can also complete these online using our 4-H Z Suites um, online platform. So either way, a completed record book has a check sheet, a personal information page, and a Kansas 4-H project report. So the first part of your record book is the Kansas 4-H record book check sheet for the Mayor Design District. And this includes all of the information you need to actually have in your record book and must be included in the record book. So to complete a project pin, application basically or to compete for project pins in the Mayor Design District, you have to have a record book check sheet, the personal information page, and your Kansas 4-H project report form. In another video I'll talk about pin applications and those are also on this check sheet just so you have an idea, but those require your permanent record and the Mayor Design District member achievement pin. The next item you need for your 4-H record book in the Mayor Design District is your personal page. This is the Kansas 4-H personal information page. It has your name, your club, your grade, how many years in 4-H you've been. It's also the place where you list all the projects you were enrolled in in that year, and you have signatures of the member, your parent or guardian, and a community or club leader. The next part of your 4-H record book is your project report form. These come in two different ways or three actually age groups. There's the junior, which is for seven to nine year olds as of January 1st of the current year. So in this case, 2024. The examples on the screen are junior project report forms. They have a general project report form and an animal project report form. The general is for all those records, including um, dog and pets. And the animal project report form is more for those that are for the animal projects like beef, sheep, swine, goats, even rabbits and poultry. If you're a 4-H member who is ages 10 to 13 as of January 1st, 2024, then you will need to use the 4-H animal or the intermediate animal project report form for those animal projects or the intermediate general project report form for, those, for your, uh, all your other projects. These project report forms have a few more lines than our junior forms and do have a reflection in them as well that keeps you from, um, that gives you a little bit more freedom than our junior report forms. As you continue to experience your 4-H, you can turn to the senior project report forms. These forms have more lines for you to do, less instruction on your project reflection, and give you more freedom to tell what all you've done in your 4-H project this year as a senior who is ages 14 to 18 as of January 1st. So this has been a brief overview of what a Mayor Design District 4-H record book contains. Some tips to, remind, to remember as you actually fill out your record book is just do your best. Also, you can use voice to text, especially for younger 4-H members. Just talk to them about what the question is and then have them put it in their own words and use that voice to text and then just prove. Not every line or area must be filled in in your project report form, but if you do have too much to go in there, you're gonna to have to prioritize your experiences. Be accurate, 
and try to improve in future years. You don't have to be perfect from the start. We always are trying to do better in 4-H and just like record books. So I encourage all Meridazine District 4-Hers to try a 4-H project report form for the project of their choice and turn it in as a 4-H record book in the Meridazine District by October 1st.